Okay, I'm going to show you how to make a super easy rectenna with just two components. I call it a lectenna because it uses an LED. This is just a low current LED. This one is the HLMP D150 from Avago. You can get it from DigiKey or a variety of places. And just take the leads and gently bend them out so that they kind of point straight out away from the, the package like that. And then you'll get a shot key diode. It needs to be a pretty particular shot key diode. You can't just use any shot, code di shot key diode. This one is the 1SS106 that Professor Fujino at Toyo University in Japan pointed me to. And what you're going to do is you're going to look and make sure that you're mounting it anode to cathode and cathode to anode so the flat part of the LED should go opposite the lines on the diode so if you line it up like that you, know, if you can see the flat part on the LED and the lines on the diode and then you're just going to twist it together just with your fingers just like that one side first and it doesn't have to be more than a couple twists and then same on the other side make sure you don't untwist the first one and it might not look super pretty, but you're just trying to get a little electrical connection there. So and they should stick together if you've got them twisted right. And then the rectenna won't work very well if you're touching any of the metal parts, and you probably want to see the LED light up. So what you can do is you can take it and stick it inside something that doesn't conduct, like a plastic test tube, or you can also take it and tape it to a straw or something like that. So, so let's see if it works. So you've probably got a wireless router like this uh, somewhere near where you live and just take that lectana and just hold it right up to the end of the uh, transmission. You can see already it's just flashing right there. It's just picking up the transmissions from the router and the shot key diode is rectifying the RF and lighting up the LED. So you can see, super easy. If you've got an old microwave, you might be able to see some uh, microwave energy leaking out from the gasket. I've got a cup of water in here. You don't want to run your microwave without anything inside it. So once it starts, see if we can... Uh... There you go. Lighten right up. So, so this microwave is a, a little bit leaky. Maybe yours is too. If it's newer, maybe it's not. It won't hurt you. It's just a tiny little bit of energy, just enough to light up a little LED. So even if you have a, a really old smartphone, as long as it's got Wi-Fi, you probably can light up your little lectenna even just by setting it on there. You can see, even on my kind of aging Blackberry, it lights up pretty quick. The antenna is usually going to be kind of somewhere near the camera on the back of the phone. It'll also work with your iPhone or pretty much any smartphone. 